Welcome to my Psycho Diaries. This is the uh, third part of uh, the video series Psycho Indexing with Solar. In this part, we are, we are going to see free name mapping, computed fields and indexing tool. <coughs> Before starting, let me introduce myself. I am Jitendra Ganekar. I am at Psycho10.net certified developer. So till now, what we have seen, uh, we have done the recap of solar, what is solar uh, and uh, how do you install the solar. So those two videos we have recapped. Then we have seen uh, what are the different search engine configuration, what are the default configurations we have in the site core. Then we have seen the default search indexes. This has been done in the part one. Then in part two, we have done the index update strategies and best practices related to index update strategies. That is the part two. So today we are going to see indexing tools inside for solar field name format, computed, computed fields. This we are going to see in this video. In future videos we are going to see index optimization solar query. So before starting let me request you if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel. Please click on a bell icon to get a latest update and if you are, you like the video please make sure to click on the like button, like button. do share with your friends and uh, uh, colleagues and do provide your feedback via the comments. So let's start today's uh, topic. So first is the indexing tools in Sitecore. So what are the different indexing tools in Sitecore? Once you log in into the Sitecore and if you uh, go to the launch panel and the control panel, if you click on the control panel and you, you, you will see there is a section called indexing. Okay. In this section, you will have two options. One is a populate solar magnate schema and another is an indexing manager. So those two are the indexing tools in the side code. So what does populate uh, solar manage schema does? So if you see, if you click on that, you will see this kind of a uh, uh, UI interface where you will see the different uh, uh, schemas or different indexes are populated. So what they, what it, it does, so, okay. So solar uses a defined schema when it works with documents. So if you have seen the first video of the solar, you will understand what is a schema file. So solar uses a schema files. Okay. So you can modify the existing schema with the populate solar managed tool. So when you install the solar, you will get the schema file. If you want to update that, that can be done by using this uh, solar managed schema tool. This tool automatically populates Sitecore fields and makes sure all fields that Sitecore needs are present. So basically it is automatic tool which will populate all the fields in the Sitecore. Okay. So it means you do not have to manually update those things. So for this, you will need this uh, UI that is schema populate. So you can select the index and you can populate that schema or for that index. The second tool is the indexing manager. As name suggests, you, you can manage your indexes. Okay, so the indexing management will also look somewhere look like this, which where you can rebuild the indexes. So there are all the indexes will be there. You can select those indexes and then rebuild it. Okay, so indexing manager provides a user interface to rebuild such indexes programmatically. Okay, so these are the two tools which which are used in the uh, side core. To first is to populate the solar uh, schema and second is the indexing manager to manage the indexes or rebuild the indexes. So now let's see uh, solar fill name. So when Sitecore sends an item to solar for indexing, the item field must map to the solar fields. So there are two, uh, so you have a solar and you have a uh, side code. So side code has their its own fields like uh, name, title. Those are the fields, and those corresponding solar fields will be there. Okay, so you need to map the so uh, the solar and the side code fields. It is practically it is not practically uh, it is not practical to manually match the large number of side code fields to the solar field. Thus, it uses a dynamic fields concept. So you have a huge numbers of fields in this side code. Okay, you yeah. have and to map those with the solar fields manually, it is very difficult to do. It's in fact, it's not practical to do. It. Okay, so what the solar does? It uses the dynamic fields concept. Now, what are the dynamic field concept? 
A dynamic field is just like a regular field except it has a name with the wildcard in it. So it actually uses the wildcards. Okay, so it uses the wildcard to for the naming. So you will have a name. Uh, some some wildcards are used. So depending on that, your uh, dynamic fields will get generated. So when you are indexing the documents, a field that does not match any explicit defined field can be matched with a dynamic field. So if there is a static code, like uh, static names are not getting matched, then it goes to the dynamic bind, the dynamic fields, and it matches with the pattern. Okay, whatever the expression or pattern which is provided, that is called as a dynamic fields concept in Solar. So these mappings, whatever we are talking about, the side core and the solar fields mapping, those are present in the side core contains search dot solar dot default index configuration file. So if you see that file, you will have something like this uh, uh, for configuration there where you will see the uh, batches. Let's take a few examples here. Okay. So if this first thing type match type name is string so string is matched to the system dot string and the what is the field name here if you see there is an expression okay where you have a the zero that is a placeholder underscore s so if there is a string and uh, the the name will be in this format okay where the first part is a field uh, placeholder and underscore s is a string okay so all the string fields will get matched to the field name format Okay, similarly, you have a text for text, you have underscore T, uh, then integer uh, underscore TL. So, similarly, there are all the type matches given the some specific format, okay, field name format. Okay, so this is how the this is actually using the field uh, dynamic field. So, this is a dynamic field concept where you have a dynamic field, it is not statically given. So, there are placeholders given where it will get replaced, the token will get replaced. So let's take an example of a uh, field name mapping. Okay. So the site core has a field name with a name amount and field type is a number. Okay. So in the site code, you have the uh, field which is name you are named it as amount and the field type is a number. Okay. You do not need to map this manually in the solar. Now for the mapping it into the solar, you do not have to do it manually. Why so? The site code map the site code number type field to the solar float type field in the name add field by day type name. So add field by field type name. This is the section okay where you will have the mapping. Okay, here it is mapped to the number is mapped as return data type is float. Okay, so you have a mapping here. This is a type. Okay, now this is you see field type name number so what is number how number is mapped okay so side core replace the zero part of the side core amount field name to become the solar amount tf field name so if you see here okay this is your field type number okay and if your field type is a, a number and the return type is a float okay so it will map as a field name format will be zero underscore tf okay it's a float number okay so side what the side code does this token zero whatever you see here the zero okay that uh, will get replaced by the field name okay so it will become about it now side code index the side uh, side code number type field name about as a solar dynamic float type field name about tf so now in side core you have a amount whereas in the solar you will about you will have about underscore tf so that is how it is back okay so let's revise once again so say assume that you have a side code field name amount okay in your field and its field type is a number Okay, and there is a configuration which is defined if you have a field type is a number and return type is a float, how it should behave. Okay, the so side code maps this name. So there is another uh, uh, section which is called as the add type match where it will define that if you have, there is a uh, dynamic field which is defined where you have a placeholder underscore TM. Okay, so now whatever way they you add the n number of fields with number and the return type float, then it will map it the zero underscore tf now what is zero zero is a placeholder of that field so amount will become amount underscore tf okay if you have used any other field that will become that field underscore tf okay and now the mapping will be amount 
in your side code which is in solar it will be amount underscore tf when side code looks for a field name it tries to match the exact name okay so when it wants to any uh, field name it will tries to match with the exact name if there is no exact match then side code removes any culture or suffix and solar dynamic field suffixes and tries again okay so this is how your fields are getting mapped with solar and the side now let us see computed fields now what is computed fields computed fields are fields which are stored calculated information while site code indexes your items it basically stores the calculator or computer values in the index which physically does not exist in the site code so there are some some fields or some the uh, logic which we want to implement and but that data is not stored in the site core as a field okay like if you get an example like you have a uh, category and products okay so you might have a you might not uh, you have a category as a parent name but uh, uh, parent folder and inside that you might have a products okay but there will not be a specific field which will specify what is the uh, category of the product uh, it is actually a parent item, but in the field itself, it is not provided. And if you want to do some manipulation or some searching, you want to do with which category products are there, then that field there is no field in the solar. Okay, so in that case, you can use a computed field, you can create a computed field which is not actually stored physically in the sidebar. It is a calculated or a logical field which is there in the indexes okay so that is what the computer fields are and which is, these are very important okay so how does you create the uh, computer fields okay the step one is a create a class that implements the uh, interface which is mentioned as the site code dot contain dot contain search dot computed fields dot i computed index field so i computed index field is the interface which you need to implement uh, uh, in the class what does the six step two does it implements the simple string properties name field name and return type so it will have two properties one is a field name and another is a return type the field name string is the name the field uses in the index so field name is the basically the name of your index okay and the return type the string refers to the solar data type that the site code field type is mapped with the type matches okay so it is a mapping of a type what is solar and what is the what is the field type in the solar and what is the field type in the side program. So step third is the implement a method called computer uh, compute field value. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the uh, what you say uh, uh, basically this is the method which you need to implement. Okay, compute field. Okay, this method accepts the argument that implements the psycho dot contain such uh, dot i indexable. Okay, so if you see here, computed field is the is the your method which you need to implement. Basically, the logic which you want to implement. Like here, yeah, I want to implement the is clone thing. Okay, so I want the is clone is the uh, uh, property which I want to index it. Which is so that's the reason I literally have written the logic here is clone. Okay, so whatever your computed field logic that will come in the computed field value and the return will be your value of that field. Okay, so this is how you will implement the I computer index field. Then step four will be the in the site for contain search dot solar dot default index dot configuration config configuration file locate field hint is equal to raw add computer index field. You have to check where it is. Okay. Then add a field element to the add computed field index and refers your custom class and assembly within it. Okay. Then rebuild your search indexes. Okay. So basically, you will write a patch file uh, where you will replace, you will add the field. Okay. So here field hint is equal to raw add computed index field. Inside that you will add your field where name of the computer. This is the name of your computed field, return type, whatever you have, and then your namespace, whatever the class which you have created, okay, so that class, okay, so that property value here and your, your namespace is your DLL, okay, so this is how you will add the patch for the computed fields, okay, so 
to be revised what are the computed fields computed fields are basically the uh, the calculated or uh, the logical fields which are not stored physically how we will do it so if you uh, see basically what you will do it first is create the class uh, that implements the uh, i computer index field interface okay field name is your name of the field return type is actually your uh, return type that you uh, of the your site code then whatever logic you want to implement that you will implement it a computed field value and then uh, you have to write a patch config where you will add that field okay the name of your computer field with your logical where you have added the class like right? that logical class file here and then the your namespace so that is how you will add the computed fields okay so this is where you will see here what are the things which you need to do for the adding the patch file patch configuration file so let's summarize today's topic we are done today uh, so first uh, we have seen the index tools okay where uh, we have seen two kind of a tools uh, one is for populating the schema second is the indexing manager where you can use the for the indexing okay then uh, we have seen how the fields are getting mapped between solar and the sidecore okay so it is it is used a dynamic field concept you do not have to match every field with each other, uh, other but it is pattern based okay where the token get replaced by your first sidecore field and say that depending on that the name which you have suggested in that configuration you can it is used and the third thing which we have seen is the computed field how we can create the computed field you can in, uh, inherit the class mentioned class and then you write your logic in the computed field class uh, method uh, then you have to patch that configuration in your con uh, config file so these are the three topics which we have seen today uh, okay so that's it we are done for today uh, if you if you you are watching this video first time please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click on a bell icon to get the latest notification if you like the video please do click on a like button to share it with your friends and colleagues and do provide your feedback via the comment this is the series of the sidecore indexing concept okay there are total five videos this is the third video i will be providing the uh, the playlist uh, link in the description and the comment please go if you are if you are watch this first for directly this video i will suggest you to start it from the first video that will give the continuity and understanding also so please watch the series and let me know uh, if you like like this uh, like by liking my videos and do provide your feedback via the comment don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you thanks for watching